This clip follows on from 003AC, the middle plateau. In this clip, I wish to confine myself to the repercussions of entering upon this middle plateau via the state of transcendental meditation. Two things to note. Firstly, the faculties of the soul are intellect, memory and will. Fantasy is a part of memory. When we meditate on the passion of Christ, we are using fantasy. Should we, God forbid, be sitting in a room imagining tortures we can inflict upon someone we hate, we are also using fantasy. Secondly, those who practice meditation perfect their ability at the same meditation. Those who, who enter upon the middle plateau are open to the influence of the demons. This influence can vary from a mere thought to actual physical form. It is painful to know people who practice this meditation and who, and who tell their stories of what they saw and who they met on the plateau. So what does the individual experience? And what dispositions are in, are in the individual prior to the meditation? In answer to the latter, I said that the age-old question of salvation is very much to the fore. Does the individual seek self or God? I maintain that in entering upon the plateau, the, the individual ipso, ipso facto is seeking self. And so we have the double, double whammy. Satan and self are a combination. But having said that, it's paramount to understand that a demon cannot make us say no to God. He can only encourage, tempt and urge us. These attempts on this plateau may commence with a thought but soon take on the physical. That is the physical nature of this plateau. The variation in the nature of these experiences on this plateau can only be defined by the number of experiences itself. By this I mean anything can happen and it will have something physical at its source. Now to examine the something physical. It may be mere fantasy where physical images are given by demons to the faculties. Note here that the soul is born a tabla rasa, a blank slate. It has to see an animal before it can form an image of it in its mind. So as the being grows older, its data bank of images increases. Not so here on this middle plateau. Here the demons infuse images into the soul. And so here we have the first, first aspect of experience on this plateau, that of fantasy. The second aspect is that of true physicality, where two physical beings are truly present to each other. And here we have the explanation of the word deception in the title. Here I must remind you that I'm confining this talk to those who practice transcendental meditation. I'm not referring to such a case as a demon appearing to someone under the guise of someone else. And so true physicality on the plateau is where persons return with physical stories that are more than mere fantasy. And this should scare the hell out of a God-fearing soul.